Good morning, guys. As you can see, it's kind of dreary outside. It's actually brighter on camera than it actually is in real life. It is um, extremely foggy. I can barely see the road, which is the reason why I had to wear my glasses. But I wanted to share with you guys um, got to get some lotion on my hands because they're starting to itch. And I got to go in and make coffee. I uh, wanted to share with you guys. Oops, what is that? Forgot my medicine again. Uh, yeah, number one, I wanted to say good morning and thank you for stopping in to say hi to me and share my journey. Um, my new hashtag is keeping it real, all one word. And, um, yeah, welcome to my new followers and welcome to my old followers and welcome to my crafters and welcome to, what is this? Welcome to everybody who is listening to me and um, sharing with me. And I'm digging through my purse. I'm blindly thinking out loud. Uh, <laughs> uh, for all of you crafters out there, you want to be sure and um, check out yesterday's video. I have a new uh, giveaway going on, and I announced the winners. Um, so, last night I got that up. I'm sorry, I'm still digging. I'm trying to find my lotion. I have no clue where it went. I just kind of figure I want to get in the office. I got to go in and make coffee. So, I'm going to cut you guys short this morning. Um, look at that. I'm the coffee maker. We ran out of loose coffee, so I have a trick of we have some K cups that um, the K cup maker doesn't work sometimes and it's kind of grody, so I would be afraid to use it. So what I do is um, I have a ratio to K-Caps to put in the coffee filter for an actual pot of coffee. Um, it is not your normal setup because <laughs> it's extremely strong. It's more stout than regular coffee is. Um, that's why they can set it up to where it goes through so quickly. Um, but if you guys ever get interested and you want to make a pot of coffee... Um, it is one K cup to three cups of water. So like for a pot of nine cups, I put in three K cups. And that's usually enough for us for the whole day because there's only three of us that really drink coffee. One person only drinks one cup and then Brandy and I drink the rest. Usually I drink the rest. Brandy will drink one cup. But anyway, so I just want to get on here briefly this morning say good morning and um, I will see you later this afternoon. I am doing um, a giveaway this afternoon with, um, and of course, you're not going to know that until you watch this anyway, for the cross stitch, um, and I'm going to do the drawing on February 1st. So, then we'll be back on track um, with the giveaways and, and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, um, yeah, you want to, crocheters, you want to check out that uh, giveaway with the, um, the slippers. And I may probably more likely do a, a cooking segment this weekend so you want to look out for that um, I want to show you guys how I do my overnight oats and uh, maybe some other some other quickie vegan uh, or rather whole food plant-based healthy things that um, if any of you are interested but they'll it'll be in the title so if you're not interested you don't have to watch it because it won't be like my normal daily segment um, of me talking and rambling or whatever. But anyway, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my, consider subscribing to my channel and, um, hit that notification bell and how the notifications come now. Um, from what I understand, they don't all go to email anymore because people's emails were getting flooded and I think too many people were complaining, but you do get the notifications in the comment section. Um, and it'll let you know who all is, um, um, uploading new videos uh, that I did notice. <clears throat> If you don't hit the notification bell, you're still still subscribed, but you won't, unless you go to their channel or it shows up on your news feed, you won't always see the new content of what people show. Like, there are some things that Crystal, at Bag Day, I follow her religiously, there are some things that sh her content, um, when... I don't always get all of her notifications, so what I do is I'll go to, because I think she posts so much, 
Um, I go to her channel directly and go look and see what's new. So, but anyway, I'm going to get off here. I got to go back to coffee and I will see you guys later. Looks like word gets around. What in the name of, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Where you think? <laughs> That's the second show I've watched today that mentioned the Judy Bloom book. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. That is so funny. My name is Earl mentioned it. And now Scrubs has mentioned it. I'm watching Scrubs on Hulu again. So, I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I will be announcing the cross stitch giveaway over the weekend. Let me pause this so that you get my undivided attention. Oh, I want to show you guys this. I got this. Isn't that cool? Isn't that pretty? It was the last one they had at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree glass. And it's a very sturdy glass. I think it's a candle holder. But I've got my needles in it. I thought it was really appropriate. Because now I can actually see what size I'm looking for. And I've got them handle side down so that I can see the hook size that I might need. Anyway, my hooks. But... Since I'm going to try to put most of my craft segments at the end of my videos, I wanted to let you guys know that along with yesterday's giveaway that I announced, um, I told you guys um, it's for the the giveaway is for uh, 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 this book. Do not enter it on this one. You want to enter it on yesterday's video clip. Um, and I put giveaway in the title. So it's, I think it's called Slippers, Winners, and Giveaways, and Giveaway. Oh, my. I think that's the title. Of course, hashtag keeping it real. All one word. I'm trying to put that on every single one of mine now since I combined my channels. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys know that with that book, I told you guys about me making slippers with this yarn, this ice yarn. I believe it's. 70% wool. Yes, 70% wool and 30% acrylic. I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to include two balls of yarn so that you can make a pair of slippers with this beautiful yarn. So yeah, so make sure you go and enter that giveaway if you haven't already. Um, I believe it's got teals. Let me see. Let me read it. It is a sail winter is what they're what they're calling it is a sail winter, but it's a light gray, which yeah, I guess it's a light gray. Turquoise and navy. I think it's kind of black, but it's actually a dark dark blue navyish color. But anyway, it's three different colors in one. But I want to let you guys know so that way you'll have enough yarn to make make a pair of slippers if you wanted to try it out. I told you I was going to make a pair of slippers with these and I'm going to do it with my own pattern um, and then I will show you my progression on how I do. I'll probably start that here shortly or at least over the weekend. I have to make a lightweight hat for my boss um, and she wants it in a black but she wants it in a thin black so I'm going to make it out of this acrylic yarn um it's scandinavia scandinavia.com that's not where i got it though i think i got it from um hobby or hobby it's hobby h-o-b-b-i-i -I. um it is a four white yarn no, no, no. it's black which is color number 241 100% acrylic, 100 gram ball, 350 meters. It says acrylic. And I was trying to see. Use a size 4 knitting needle, but I don't think so. It's it's a it's a 3. It says it's a 4, but it's more on the it's not a medium 4, it's like a light 4. It's more on the the 3 side. So, and it's very lightweight, so she wants a lightweight hat in black or a solid gray color that she can wear around the house. So I'm going to, I knew I had some gray, but I didn't realize I had a light black. So 
Um, I'm going to make her a lightweight hat so that she'll have something to wear that's not so heavy. Because um, she's like Brandy. She gets hot very easily. And I get here lately. I've been getting really cold lately. So anyway, so I'm going to work on that over the weekend. I did get my gray slipper done. And this is the one that I showed you guys yesterday, the way I used it with the two strands. Mm -hmm. And this is what the back looks like. I've got to tuck in my tail, of course. This is what the back, back looks like. I, I, I want to say I got it done. I do not have it done. I have not put the... I've only got the slipper part itself. I haven't done the do, the updo for the ankle part. I haven't done the ankle strap yet. But I finished the actual slipper itself and I've already started the second pair or the second piece and I also finished the uh, light purple glittery one with the light turquoise it's a lavender a light lavender with a light turquoise um, metallic thread going through it and I finished that I still have to do the the ankle part um, but I've already got the back done and I like the finish on the back like I said I like the finish um, going this way because what I did was go back and forth and then decreased every other stitch until I came across and now what I'll do on both sets of slippers I've already started my second one to go with this um, and what I'll do is before I put on the ankle cuff, I make sure that I've got them both identical because these are uh, stitches that I'm playing around with to see if I like where it's going. And on this one, I told you guys, let's see, on this one I started out, I think, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I did 13, 13 double crochets to start out on this one and then I think I did I don't know if I did 12 or 13 on this one I think I did 13 on this one too 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 no I did 12 on this one so let me count again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 yes okay so I did 12 on this one I told you guys right that I started this one and normally with a 4 weight you would, you would do 12 to start and you really don't want to do more than 13 because then this part would be too wide now if you're gonna make a man slipper I recommend doing still the 12 or 13 but use a chunk of yarn and a bigger needle um, with these I am using a 5.0 which is um, be consider let's see it if it H it's an H hook. Um, I'm using a five five millimeter or an H hook. Um, I have been using a five and a half, a five point five millimeter, uh, which is an I hook. But anyway, so yeah, so I want to show you guys. I did finish this. I got to put the heel. I mean this the ankle on it. And these are going to my stepmom in, in the bag that I showed you guys of all the stuff that I made for her. And then I've got to put the put the ankle on this one. And this one I did different. This one I did, I just didn't do this stitch when I went back and forth this way. Um, I just skipped that middle stitch. And so... It's going to be more complete, whereas this one, I went back and forth and I skipped six stitches when I went back and forth. But this one, I only skipped one, the center stitch, because I wanted to make sure that this was going to be uniform with the front post, back post. And then I had Mattson try it on. She's a size eight and a half, and that fit her perfectly. Uh, but it would also fit a smaller hook. I also plan on, excuse me guys, plan on working this weekend um, with this yarn. This is another, yo, the sparklies are showing up really good on this one. 
Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I think this one is called Rockstar. It's a nice yarn. I'm almost positive. I don't have the band for it. I have six more skeins of it. If I can remember the name of it, it may be called something else. I think it's the Rockstar. I don't know. It's it's a very odd kind of yarn. It's not like the the one that I just got through showing you that I made the slipper, the lavender uh, one. This I love this yarn metallic. Um, this is is kind of like um it's kind of like a tube. Oh, it's got everything else in the background, but what what I need you to see. It's like a let's see if it'll do it this way. No, it's not gonna do it. Maybe. It's like a tube. It it's very odd. It's um I don't know how to describe it. Okay. You know how you wear a sweatshirt hoodie? Those of you who remember wearing hoodies, if some people still do, that's kind of pulled apart a little bit. And there's a, like a piece of cotton in the middle of the string going through the hoodie string that, that's around the hood. Um, there's usually like a piece of cotton and then there's like material wrapped around that cotton to form the hoodie string. It's like that. I don't know how else to describe it, only it doesn't have the cotton in the middle. It's just the outside tubing. That's what it reminds me of. I was trying to remember. And this is considered a, a four weight. Let's see, I'm trying to get it in there. It's considered a four weight. And I would agree. Um, it's definitely not a five. But you can see, it's a four. But it's pretty. I like it. I think I made, I want to say I made ear warmers with it. Or maybe I've got it put out somewhere where I'm going to. But I think I'm going to make either some slippers or uh, ear warmers with it. Because it's so soft. Oh, this smells so good. I got some uh, new perfume on it. It's Jimmy Choo. Flare? I can't remember the name of it, but it's Jimmy Choo is the brand. It smells so good. It reminds me, I used to love um, musk when I was younger. In the early 80s, I loved musk. And it kind of reminds me of Jovan Musk for women. I loved it. I liked it better than the Cody musk. Jovan, I thought, smelled better than the Cody wild musk. But anyway, sorry. My sister got me a 20-pack sampler kit for Christmas, and that's one of the samples that was in it. And what you do is you pick out the samples, uh, try all the different samples, and then that way you decide which one you like so that she, you can tell her what you want for Christmas. Be awesome. Anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make something with this over the weekend. I'm not sure what yet. I know I want to do either thought about gloves, but gloves take a lot of yarn, but then again, so do the slippers, so I may end up having to use two balls to make something, but whatever I make, I will show you guys, of course, but I'm going to wrap up today's video, I didn't feel much, Ramsey was just warming up me, I've got the heater at my feet going, <laughs> I really do, uh, so for dinner, Matson and I had... Um, I steamed some Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. I cook them. I cook them till the bitterness is gone. I was told, and I've tried it once, that if you shave Brussels sprouts very thinly and toss them on salad, they're really good. They're not bitter that way. Um, but I, I cook the crap out of them because I like. I like them just to melt in my mouth. Um, I used to salt and butter them. I don't butter them anymore. I just salt them because I can appreciate more the flavor of vegetables since I stopped putting butter on them. If I have to have butter on something, um, I will use my vegan butter. But even that has a lot of oils. And I don't need the added oils in my life. Right? So... 
I went ahead and we had Brussels sprouts and I pulled out the air fryer and I did some frozen hash browns in the air fryer and I did some frozen barbecue morning star chicken nuggets which y'all know me it's it's I'm vegan so um, they were they were vegan barbecue chicken nuggets which is made with vegetable protein and we had um, buffalo wild wings sweet barbecue sauce yeah had a little bit of heat in it so we had that to dip them in and and because even though they said barbecue they were just spicy um, I didn't it didn't have I like the sweet barbecue taste and it didn't have it so we we had some dipped on the side Maddie couldn't finish hers because it was too spicy I finished mine and now I'm paying for it um <laughs> So, let's see, what else did we have? We had, oh, and I did some air fryer. I did some corn nuggets. So, we had the, the hash brown potatoes, the corn nuggets, and the uh, veggie barbecue nuggets in the air fryer. And then I steamed the broccoli, the, um, uh, a package of cauliflower, uh, Brussels sprouts. And that's what we had for dinner. I ate everything and I'm miserable. Maddie ate all but just a few of her nuggets. So uh, she's laying down. She's got to be miserable too. I got to quit playing with this. I'm having so much fun just talking to y'all and just play with this ball of yarn. I'm like a cat. You play with the ball of yarn. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have to cake this up, I think. Since I've uncaked. I've caked it. I have to develop the whole. Oh, excuse me. So I'm gonna, I'm going to, oh, here it is. It's honey barbecue sauce. So don't judge me. The vegan part of me still likes honey. No bees were harmed in this presentation. <laughs> it's really good. Sassy sweet sauce with gentle heat. And it's not that bad. It's, I think it's one of their milder sauces. Two tablespoons of 70 calories. Oh, it's got high fructose corn syrup. Oh, no. Y'all, I'm so totally against that. It's got chipotle peppers in it. And ancho peppers. Ooh. And it's got a lot of things that I should not put in my body. But, I did not, <coughs> sorry, I did not purposely go out and buy this. I already had this before we went vegan. And I just recently opened it up, and so I don't believe in throwing things away if they're still good. So we're eating it. Now, I, I won't buy it again, but it's really good. I may have some barbecue sauce in a giveaway one day. You never know. That will be considered one of my other giveaways. Because in one of my other giveaways, I have got a Bluetooth light bulb that I'm going to give away. Um... I was going to do it on my other channel if I reached 100, but I had it for a year, and I only, the highest I got was 68, and then I dropped back down to 64. So, after a year. So, I figured, yeah, it was time to combine. So, that's why, that was one of the reasons why I combined. There's other reasons, too, that I explained previously, but anyway, that's going in one of my giveaways. Um, I had promised it there if I ever reached 100, and it took me a year, and we never reached it. So, I'm going to do it on one of my other giveaways. <laughs> because in my other giveaways, it could be a craft. It could be cookbooks, just like I did this last go-around. Um, and that boxer item is pretty heavy. Um, it could be stationary. It could be um, an odd craft. It could be, hey, hey, uh-uh, no, no. It could be snackies, it could be movies, it could be anything, guys. So it's not limited to just crafters. I'm going to squirt you. <laughs> this is what I got. It's supposed to, I told you guys about her clawing my door frames, right? She's been doing it since we got her, eight years ago. I cannot break her of it. 
And this is the only thing that I can do. Now, I think she likes me squirting her with vinegar water. It's water with just a little bit of vinegar. It's supposed to, it's supposed to make them not want to do it. But it could be just plain water. I use it to get rid of smells in the house. Quick tip. Awesome. If you guys have pet odors or any odors that you need to get rid of in any kind of furniture, carpet, or anything like that, you take three parts water to one part vinegar. It has to be white distilled vinegar. And there is a chemical in vinegar that reacts to odors that will eliminate it. Now, you smell vinegar for a little while, but once the vinegar smell goes away... Um, it gets rid of the odor. That's how I've gotten away, gotten rid of cat musk, um, doggy pee, just all those smells. You will not smell those in my house ever because I use vinegar water to get rid of them and it works. Um, I discovered it say about 10 years ago, maybe, maybe longer. Um, yeah, I swear by it. That one, I used to freak out and worry about how in the world am I going to get this musky cat's pee of smell where they mark their territory how do you get this out of your house that's how you do it it works i'm telling you your baby pees or poops in the floor because they took off their diaper it's okay clean it up with a little bit of vinegar water i'm telling you it works it's great anyway <laughs> so she was starting to claw so i had to spray her real quick but uh but yeah so let me get off here before i ended up <laughs> I'm going to end up destroying this ball. I'm starting to run my fingers on it and get all my hand oils all over it, which is not good for the yarn. Anyway, and I'm getting tired. So, oh, I'm 21 minutes in. See? Oh, my gosh. Already? I just talk, talk, talk. I just talk, talk, talk. Wow. Okay. So, I will see you guys later this weekend. I'm not sure when. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do the cross-stitch giveaway. But don't forget, I'm going to give you guys... These two balls of yarn to go with those slipper pattern books yesterday. Don't comment here. You have to watch yesterday's video and you have to put the keyword in the comments. So, good luck everybody. Thank you for watching, participating, subscribing. I love you all. You are amazing. And I'll see you later. Peace out.